the vet turned politician. Meet Danny Chambers, Winchester's first non-conservative MP in over a decade. The election back in July was a two-horse race here in Winchester, but Chambers came out on top, securing a majority of just under 14,000 with a 52.5% share of the vote. But why does he think the Lib Dems had the upper hand this time? I think there's, there's two or three different reasons, and um, it was almost a, a perfect storm that came together at the same time. So the people who voted Conservative between sort of 2010 and, and 2019 maybe um, didn't like Boris Johnson breaking rules, lying to Parliament, lying to the Queen, you know, proroguing Parliament um, unlawfully, breaking international law, because they, they're conservatives, because they believe in our institutions, they believe in the rule of law, they believe in the, you know, sort of competence. And the Liberal Democrats came in saying, well, we care about, um, you know, standards in public life. Like, I'm a vet. If I broke the rules and I lied about it, I'd get struck off. And yet nothing happened to, to these people, you know. And I think that, that was one reason people came to us. And, and then I think as well, um, in Winchester specifically, just seeing how much Liberal Democrats cared. You know, we, um, we, we, we had thousands of us knocking on doors, speaking to people, asking what their concerns were. We spoke to 24,000 people last year. We spoke to about 25,000 people this year. We really know how people feel about things. And people, I think, were just fed up with Conservative MPs just taking them for granted. Chambers has been selected as the Liberal Democrats spokesperson for mental health. With the Labour government's plans to allocate an extra £25.7 billion to the NHS, Chambers had some different thoughts about how the money could have been spent. We were pleased that the government put money into the NHS. Um, it needs reform, but it also does need some more funding. But what we were disappointed about was that you can't fix the NHS without fixing social care. And the NHS, uh, the, the Liberal Democrats have been calling for a cross-party um, plan on social care for years now. Social care affects the entire NHS. And so what we say is that you need to um, invest heavily in primary care, which includes mental health. So if, when you've got people in A&E because they can't get a GP appointment, because they can't get the mental health care they need, because they can't get the dental care they need, um, it is more cost effective to make sure you can keep people healthy in their communities, there's so many non-clinical, non-medical factors that affect mental health. So we know people in the um, poorest 20% of society are more than twice as likely to have mental health issues than, um, than someone on an average salary. Um, we, we know that people in debt are going to struggle more with mental health issues. Since becoming an MP five months ago, Chambers has signed 18 early day motions and has met with several community groups in order to push forward Winchester's concerns and issues in Parliament particularly involving the environment and mental health. Molly Keane, Winchester News Online.